So number one, sketch the graph for each of the following on a graph paper. But I just roughly draw, do it here. So A, Y is equal to 1 minus 3 sine 2X. Okay, for this one up to this one. But okay, first, you should remember, you should know what is your best general graph. So the basic graph for sine is something like this. So here, this is sine, right? Which is 360, this is Y is equal to sine x so you should start from here okay so you see here first you have three right so you just ignore the first one so first you see this one you know this one is the amplitude this one is the amplitude and this one is the period so we know that amplitude is three so amplitude is height of the graph so here this one is one this is negative one so that means this one, so we just take this one first, in front first. So here we start with y is equal to 3 sine 2x. The one with sine first, you just ignore the negative first. So we know the amplitude is 3 and then this, this one is period. So period is, so here to calculate period, this one is 360. That means you get the shape at 360. This means the period is 360 in front of x is 2, so you get 180. So that means you will get the same shape. So this one, you will get the same shape but at 180. So you see here, this is how it works. So 360 divided by 2, you get 180. That means you will get the same shape at 180. So this is 180. And you see that this one is... If this is 360, this one is the middle, is 180. Now, this one becomes 90. So, this is how it works. And then, 3 is the height. Now, you have 3, negative 3. Okay. okay, first you do that first. And then, number 2, you can see that this is negative. Negative 3 sine 2x. So, negative, that means everything is opposite. So, you see here. So this one shape like this, right? So instead of this one, so negative, you make it going down here. And here, you see here now, you still at 3, negative 3, and this one is 90, this one is 180. So instead of, so you see here, it is inverted shape. Where this one is 3, this one is negative 3. Okay, now you are done with this one, but you are not done yet. You have 1 in front. So here number three. So one, so one that means one is from y. That means you add one to the graph. So the graph sine two x plus one because one because this one y minus three sine two x is equal to this one, right? That means the graph increased by one. So here. So here what happened is this. This one is 3, right? So plus 1, this one will become 4. So this one, the mid, the middle of the graph. So this one will become maybe here, which is from 0. 0 plus 1 is 1. And then here, negative 3 plus 1, here you get so here your graph is something like this right now so you see here this one is 1 so this one is 4 and this one is negative 2 but this one is from 0 to 180 For A, it wants from negative 90. So, you know that the shape is repeating, right? So, basically, you see the gap from here to here is 90. So, here, sorry, this one to this one because this one is up to here and then here. So, you see, this one is 90 and another 90. So, this one should be down and up, right? So, this one should be up again. So, this one is up. Touching this one is up again. So, this one is supposed to be negative 90. Okay, this is the graph that you are supposed to get. Okay, this one is done for A. Okay, 
and now for B so here so we have modulus here right so never mind you start with the basic one first so you need to know how your graph tangent looks like so we know that this one is 90 and this one is 270 this one is 180 so it looks something like this so this one is So this one is up, so this one is, okay, this one is supposed to be 2 pi. So it looks like something like this. So this one is up to 2 pi. So we know that we have this line here where we know that this one is approaching 90 degree, but uh, it won't ever meet 90 degree. So this is, uh, is equal to tangent x. So here, like before, so we start with tangent to x first. So y is equal to tangent to x. Okay. Okay. But then you see here for this one, the period, the repeating part is this one is 180 for sine and cos. We know that the basic shape repeats at 360, but this one is 180. So for this one, 2x, that means that the the period is equal to 180 because this one repeating at 180 divided by 2. So here we get 90. So the period is 90. Okay, now tangent to x. So for tangent to x, we have here. So this one is from 0 to pi, right? So we see here everything is divided by 2. So this one, should the dotted line is... 90 right so here it will become 45 so here 45 so this one also this one is 135 but this one is for pi right so we see here this one is So this one is the mid, this is the middle one, right? So it's something like this. Again, the same shape. But then you see here what happened. So this one is basically 180, right? So this one is 270, and then 2 pi divided by 2 is pi, which is 180 or pi. So this one is 0, 2 pi. So this one is, you see, up, down, up. This one is supposed to be down so following the same shape but 180 so everything is divided by 2 because you have tangent to x okay now you see we have modulus function so we do it on modulus function first so this is step number one step number two we do modulus function so modulus function everything down we go up so here we will have because we already have 0 to pi. So this is pi. So this one is actually pi over 2. Okay. Alright. So here you see here. This one is pi over 2. Do you have the by 2? This one is pi over 4. Because this one is in term of pi. So this one is supposed to be what? So, so this one is 3 pi over 4. So this one is 3 pi over 4. So we see here this one is the middle right? Is the middle right so we see it's going up so this one is positive never mind because this one is tangent to x so we cannot have negative all the negative value will comes up so this one something like this so you see here this one going up so this one is already up and you see this one is going down right instead of going down it's going up so this is tangent to x now settle with tangent to x so we have negative tangent to x so number three we have negative tangent to x that means it will change everything will change uh, to negative so we see here when change to negative so this one so the end here this one is pi because up to pi so you see here this one you have pi over 4 here this one is 3 pi over 4 here. So you see here, when you have negative, that means all positive will become negative. So you see here, this one going up, it will go 
down here. So you see here, this one like this, so it will become like this. So you see here, this shape inverted. So this one like this. So where's my pie? <laughs> so this one supposed to look like this. So this one is your pie. Okay. So this one is y is equal to negative tangent 2x. Lastly, so we see here we have plus 1 here. So this is negative tangent 2x plus 1. So plus 1 means we add the value of y to 1. So this one from 0 will become 1. So here I hope we have enough space. So I need 4 division where this one is pi. So this one is pi over 2, this one is pi over 4, this one is 3 pi over 4, right? So this one is the dotted line. So you see here, add by 1. So this one, the graph will shifted up by 1. So that means this is your new, this one, this line, we come up to this line, this is 1. So from 1, so it's going down here, it's here, and this one also, something like this, and this one will be from pi something like this so you basically will get shape like this so this is it so whatever when it's sketch when it comes to sketch you should start from the basic first and then you go step by step until you get the graph